When I say Castlevania, some may think of Lords of Shadow and how it's the best one. Those people are right. Lords of Shadow is a reboot of the boring, stale Castlevania franchise that, like most reboots of the time, was completely necessary and reinvigorated the franchise with astounding success. Before I go into further detail on the development, mechanics, or theming of the game, I must talk about the groundbreaking and cinematic story. The once successful steel mills of Sheffield, South Yorkshire, have shut down and most of the staff have been made redundant. Former steel workers Gabriel Belmont and Zobek have resorted to stealing scrap metal from the abandoned mills to sell. Gabriel is facing trouble from his former wife, Marie, and her boyfriend, Satan, over child support payments that he has failed to pay since losing his job. Gabriel's son, Trevor, loves his father but wishes they could do more normal stuff in their time together. One day, Gabriel spots a crowd of women lined up outside a local club to see a Chippendale striptease act. He gets the idea to form his own striptease group, using local men, in hopes of making enough money to pay off his child support obligations. And if you had child support obligations like me, you'll support Konami Crate. Konami Crate is an amazing deal for any fans clutching to what remains of their beloved franchises. For only 60 Danish crowns a month, you'll receive a crate full of Konami goodies, like this Konami code shirt. Remember the Konami code? I do. You should buy this. Please? I, I just want to see my son smile again. The game ends with the Belmonts performing on stage in front of a packed house, stripping to Tom Jones' version of Vampire Killer, their whips being the final item removed with an astounding success. Also, in a shocking twist that has never been seen in the series before or after, Gabriel Belmont was actually Dracula the entire time! The presentation in Lords of Shadow may look dated now, but at the time it was really good. Patrick Stewart sounds really good as well, and the music is also really good. And while the gameplay has been claimed by so-called critics as being linear and monotonous in its button mashing and endless quick time events, while also bringing nothing new to the table, I think if you compare the combat to Dark Souls, you'll find that the game is far better than anything these idiots are saying. See, there is a health bar and monsters that you need to avoid, and hits with your weapon, which is just like Dark Souls, so it's good, because I like it, and if you're like some loser no-life critics and disagree, then you clearly don't understand how the game works, and just need to use some actual skill. Once you know how to play the game, it's easy and good, just like Dark Souls. So in summary, while a lot of whiners out there will say this game is nothing like Castlevania and just chasing trends of the time, if you actually respect its creator, Sheen Gary Miyamango's vision, you'll realise that it's actually really interesting and really good. I give Lords of Shadow a 9.63 out of 10. Everyone should go buy it. Thanks for all the support and helping me reach 202 subscribers. We really did it, guys. We're shutting down the haters. Please like, comment, subscribe, smash that bell, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Tinder, stop the corporations, save the bees, watch dubbed anime, and stop fox hunting. I, I was actually kind of serious on that last one. Fox hunting makes me kind of sad. If you actually respect its creator. <laughs> <laughs> End of the video, everyone. If you actually respect its creator. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get there. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, hang on. Shin Gary Mia Manko. There we go. Fuck.